Hi there. Welcome to this short video on elastography on our EU ME2 ultrasound system. What is elastography? Elastography is a evolving diagnostic trend that helps you evaluate the relative stiffness of your target lesion. Why do elastography? It can be done as a part of your normal TMNA procedure. It takes no extra time, very simple to do, and it gives you valuable additional information to help you make your final clinical decision. How does elastography work? The best thing about elastography is that it provides you with a real-time analysis of your target lesion. It gives you a color map overlay with a range of colors from red being the softest and blue being the hardest. I'll now take you through the steps, how to use this in your daily practice. Let's go through the steps on how to use the elastography function on the EUME2. Firstly, localize the target lesion or node you want to evaluate using normal B mode imaging. Then press the ELST button to activate the elasto mode. This will bring up our split screen mode with the left, our normal B mode, and the right, our elasto mode, with the color map overlay and the strain graph below. We can now go ahead and set our region of interest, or ROI. It's vital to note that we must include our target lesion or node as well as some normal tissue and parenchyma. We should also try to exclude any big vessels to reduce any artifact. To set the ROI, press the set button and move the trackball to adjust the size required. Press set again to lock it in. You can now easily move the ROI box around with the trackball. Once we've set an appropriate ROI, we are ready to obtain our color map. Normally, the compressions created from a nearby metastinal vessel is quite adequate to create a clean map. The strain graph sh below represents the frequency and amplitude of our compressions. We'll come back to this in a moment. Once we have observed our color map for at least 5 to 10 seconds, we can press freeze. Now we can scroll back in time to choose the best compression section which is indicated by the most consistent colors and pressure wave pattern. If you want to analyze a bigger sector, simply press the plus button in the sector control. A lovely function we can use here is the frame average function. This can provide an average, reproducible and objective color map. We now have an excellent qualitative assessment of relative stiffness for our target lesion. You can stop your assessment here if your primary concern is to determine the relative stiffness of your target lesion. For example, we have a lymph node here, unreactive, hard cortex, soft hyalur, which corresponds to our color overlay map with our blue being hard in the cortex and our red being our soft hyalur area. If you want to extend your study, you can semi-quantify your results by using the strain ratio function. To perform the strain ratio measurement, simply press ratio under our main elasto tab, then use both the trackball and the set button to firstly outline your lesion and secondly an area of normal tissue. This will produce a strain ratio which is displayed here. This concludes our video. Remember, elastography will never replace the pathological diagnostic power of EVAS tDNA, but it's a great additional tool to have in your arsenal for your daily practice. It's quick, easy, and very effective.